what's up my name is Tech Number here for troubleshoot and welcome back to another video in this quick video i'll show you how to reset your sync thing id if for some reason you're afraid someone else has it you made a video on it or anything like that there's a plethora of different reasons that you'd like to do this and i'll show you exactly how sync thing is a nice little piece of software that allows you to sync files and folders between different devices and i'm using it here i used it to set up keypass an open source fully self-hosted password manager that i'm using on my phone and my computer link in the video description down below however if for some reason you've shown your code somewhere or you need to change it etc what do we need to do well first of all we need to close sync thing and because it runs in the background or a command prompt window you'll need to find it and close it I'll open up Task Manager with Control Shift and Escape. Then I'll head across to the Processes tab, sort by name, and I'll jump straight down to Sync Thing by pressing S on my keyboard until we find it. There we go, there's Sync Thing. All that we need to do is locate these, right click, and then end any and all Sync Thing tasks that could be running. Upon doing so, Sync Thing is now completely closed. So from here, we need to head across to where the Sync Thing files are, where we'll be deleting a couple of the files on our computer. Pull down start, press R, and inside of here, type percentage, local, app, data, and then another percentage, followed by enter. Upon doing so, you'll see C users, your username, app data, local. Inside of here, click anywhere, and then press S on your keyboard to jump down to S once again. You'll find the sync thing folder, and inside of here, you'll find a bunch of different files. The main files we're looking for are cert and key. Though, of course, you're free to delete a whole other bunch of files from here, especially if you'd like to clear the log, clear your current configurations, etc, etc. Though, as far as I understand, it's just these two or four files over here. After you've deleted them, all you need to do is relaunch SyncThing. So for me, it was in my startup folder, and now that it's running again, as you can see here, if I were to head across to my browser and check my code, it would now be different. So if you deleted a bunch of other files, you may have to set up the configuration again and a couple of other options depending on how many you deleted. Of course, if it didn't have the intended effect, you may want to head back to the folder after closing the program again and simply empty it out completely or at least move them somewhere else temporarily. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!